Hello, hello, hello. I am Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's review. And as you can see, sitting in front of us today, I'm looking at Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Rhinox. And I like this figure, despite some of its faults, which there are a few. I really like this figure. Um, I do like the Generations um, Thrilling 30 figure quite a bit too. They both have their faults, they both have their pluses, but I keep my Thrilling 30 with my more my original Beast Wars figures because to me it just fits in. This one I like, I keep it with my Kingdom figures because again it fits in. So first thing we'll do is we'll take a look at the packaging. And as you can see, our typical War for Cybertron Kingdom packaging. Got Rhinox up there, Takar Tomy, Transformers Generations, Rhinox in his beast mode, robot mode, Kingdom right along there, Hasbro 8 Plus, Voyager class on the top. We've got that Maximal symbol that uh, looks like it's painted over the Autobot symbol, which again, I like how they did that. I think that is a cool addition. On the bottom, our barcode, our regular uh, this, this, and this, what's included, and uh, multiple different languages, which is nice to see. Um, all our other information on the side, of course, that awesome artwork for Kingdom. And I've said it before, and I can't help saying it again. I really want some large prints of all three artworks to hang up. <laughs> All right, and on the back we have our product shots of Rhinox in robot mode and Rhino mode. Got our warning right there, no zero to three, and more words there. And that is it for the package. Now, getting to Rhinox, let me get everything adjusted here. <laughs> he looks good. He is um, a more realistic looking rhino than the thrilling 30 i believe um i think that's why it's got this uh these like spots here is because rhinos actually have those spots um in the shape of the horns of course the eyes being red or not um typical <laughs> but i like you know the the look of the the skin where it's kind of got that um leathery feeling almost so again very cool nice ears there red the red eyes like i said the mouth uh with the painted teeth whoops again looks very good got nice painted toes of course you can see part of the arms but honestly it's not a deal breaker i mean it is understandable um got the tail sticking out on the butt here um Again, painted toes for the rear legs. And the top part is smooth. Um, it would have been nice having more of that feeling like the rest of it has. But I don't know if that's accurate to an actual rhino. Don't know for sure. Um, there's the bottom. You can see the weapons actually store right there. Oops. Um, uh, uh, between his rear legs you can see there is of course a uh, faux chest that is in there um, honestly I think it wouldn't have worked out too well um, like how they did the thrilling 30 because honestly the thrilling 30 chest was still too small yeah they did things here and there to kind of expand it but it still looks too small good looking Rhinox absolutely love it but parts of it just didn't look right um and my biggest problem was the waist not locking in um you know it would have been nice having a lock-in point for that but not here to talk about thrilling 30 here to talk about kingdom <laughs> now articulation there isn't much in rhino mode uh the head can move about that much uh the mouth can open and close um 
quite a bit. <laughs> Whoops. Um, the front legs can move out like this. You can move them. Um, you can rotate them here. Again, more of that's for robot mode. You can even turn in there. Again, more of that's for robot mode. And then these rear ones move just like that. And that is it for Rhino mode. So we will get into robot mode. Um, the one issue with the robot mode that I will point, I will say right now before getting fully into transforming him, there are quite a few um, hollow areas. It's disappointing, but for the way that they did the transformation, kind of understandable. So first thing we want to do, sort of want to separate this part. And then, why is that? Okay, maybe not. Actually, bring these up for now. There we go. <laughs> There's that. That'll help separate these bits right here. And then we can separate the rest of them and pull out the weapons. Now, bring these up and out of the way as soon as I can get a good grip on it. There we go. All right. Now, with those separated, we'll open these up, and we're going to bring these out. This is the way I'm just doing it because it's easier to see how everything goes, but we want to rotate that in, spin it around, rotate it down, just like that. This piece is going to rotate in and there's actually a little tab there that's going to tab in right there and then you can rotate it there and then next thing we do if it'll let me so we want to there we go there we go so rotate that out and then we're going to bring this around that and that's sorry <laughs> just like that want to untab the foot which this little tab right here is going to tab in right in there we'll rotate it all the way around and then just like that now we can bring this in and there's this tab it's going to tab in right there just like that and then this will close up and that's that foot pretty much done and then we want to also rotate this more to the back so same thing on this other side rotate it rotate that close that up keep that open Bring that around, bring the foot around, close this up until we get nice tab in right there, and then tab that in right there. All right, and there we have the legs all done. Now for the rest of him. So we're gonna keep this open let's bring these down here for now but pull this out open that up push back in until it tabs now we want to there we go so bring this head just far enough back for clearance and I actually did this backwards, so keep, keep this closed. I apologize about that. 
So bring this out, rotate it just like that. Bring this end out. And we want to have the arms like that. Now we'll bring this back out. Open it up to have it back in. And we want to actually rotate these pieces up to help fill in that chest. Now for the arms, rotate here. Then we want to open up this piece, rotate the hands out, close it up, and there's that arm all done. Same thing over here, rotate that. <laughs> open up this piece, rotate out the fist, close it up. Now next thing, rotate his robot head around push this in and then what we want to do is we want to bring this down just like that so it's sitting just like that and I believe that that is Rhinox done yeah and there he is in his robot mode and it doesn't look too bad I actually do like this robot mode it's more updated um, look for Rhinox, but you can tell it's Rhinox. I mean, very cool look. Um, yeah, the Thrilling 30, like the head looks better, but for this, I mean, it is a really good figure. I really like it. Um, but we'll take a look at him. So first that head sculpt. Typical Rhinox fashion. We got the green head with the gold, red eyes. I do wish there were maximal symbols on the side of his head. It is a bummer not seeing that. In fact, I don't see a maximal symbol anywhere on him. It is kind of surprising not to see that, but I guess it is what it is. Um, gold on the chest with the silver rhino teeth. Um, gold on the crotch plate. Green the for the upper part of the legs got the gray which was his back in rhino mode um the feet um yeah it's kind of that faux uh like stretched out uh rhino feet which is fine and then you got like his toe i'm perfectly fine with that i don't mind that at all um you know the upper part of the uh front uh, shoulder for the rhino is now his shoulder and then this part of the leg and the rhino head on the back and of course you can kind of see one of the issues is he looks awfully thin I mean that is rather um, surprising but for how they did it I can see why it's like that it's not the end of the world it's not you know it doesn't really take too much out of him you know, I actually, I do not mind it at all. It would be nice, like, I mean, we've got all these gaps, but again, some of these are places for, like, weaponizers, or not weaponizers, uh, fossilizers to plug into. So, again, surprising. <laughs> Whoops. But he is very cool. I like him. Now articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so we can turn them all the way around. Can look up that far, look down, not really too far. Arms can go out that far. We can even move back and forth, so that's very cool. Uh, full 360, we've got swivel here at the elbow. Little under 90 for the elbow itself. There is actually a waist rotation so that's nice but you can only go so far which is fine you can kick forward that far kick back that far can't really do a full van dam but can get close we have rotation just above the knee right in there knee is just under 90 
And then the foot can move back like that, can move that far forward, and we've got a heck of an ankle tilt. So not too bad. A um, little limited, but it's quite all right. I can deal with it. Now, as for his weapons, which were stored in his rhino mode, right here, we separate them. And these, like, I mean, yeah, they look small, but honestly, I think they work. And it is nice to see the uh, gold painted in on these and then the silver. The um, U.S. release of the Thrilling 30, they weren't painted, and that was a bummer. That was a real downside to that. Um, I know the Japanese release had better color, and these his uh, Machine Guns of Doom or... Um, Oh, I'm forgetting the name. <laughs> Chain Guns of Doom <laughs> uh, were actually painted very nicely on the uh, Japanese version. So if you're able to get that one, man, I, I envy you because I wish that one I would have gotten um, over the Thrilling 30. But uh, we can store these. There are actually two spots here on the back. You can store them right in here just like that so there is nice storage and it's on the back so you can't really see him but come on i mean if if he's going to be doing anything he's going to be wielding his chain guns of doom so put them in his hands just like that and there we go rhinox with his chain guns of doom and i like that that looks good <clears throat> excuse me so yeah i know for some people the chain guns of doom look um a bit small but i mean it's an updated version of rhinox i mean if we're gonna get like rhinox full-on uh, beast war style then you know we'd get proper size for his chain guns of doom but for this for the kingdom i'm perfectly fine with this um, I believe there are some who are working on um, 3D printed uh, upgrades for those who are looking for them. If they want larger ones, which is cool, I'm going to personally stick with this. Um, I'll see what upgrade kits are going to show up for this guy. We'll see how well they work. Um, I honestly don't know what upgrade kit they could really do other than slightly larger chain guns of doom and if they can figure out a way for them to fit or these ones fit without any issues cool but me personally i like this i love having it on my shelf with my kingdom figures I said i have the thrilling 30 that one is on with my original beast wars because i just feel he fits in with those really well um for my display options everybody is different on how they do their displays um, but he is uh, wave three of the voyagers so he is out there in fact i actually saw two more at my local walmart today when i went shopping to get a couple of things and they must they must have just gotten in another case of wave three for voyager i'm still waiting on them deluxe wave threes really waiting on those but He's out there if you're looking for him. He's in stores. Definitely Walmart. Um, a few people have spotted him at some targets. My local target has not had him. Um, they did have Galvatron. They do have a, a uh, shelf sticker for um, Commander Class Rodimus, but nothing yet on that. So if you're looking for him, plenty of time to find him. I mean, we're, we're just getting to really hitting wave three now so it'll be a bit before wave four comes out but yeah all in all excellent figure really am liking him um the only downside that i really have personally is not having maximal symbols on his head it just i feel like rhinox needs those but again that is my personal opinion Everybody likes what they like and don't like what they don't like. So 
all in the end we're all big transformers fans <laughs> but i think i will end things there i hope you find him if you're looking for him and again great figure so i am alucard night raven thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you all later